Hey there and welcome back to my channel. It took me a lot of time today to uh, set up everything for filming since, you know, I bought a 3D printer and now it sits on that small black table that uh, usually I use for solving puzzles. I film my solutions there, but now it is occupied with 3D printer, so I have to solve them on my desk. And this time I have two cameras, one on top, another is filming me right now. So maybe it's gonna be more interesting for you, but the light setup might be a little bit uh, not so good as before. So let me know uh, in the comments, what do you think if uh, this video was good or you prefer the videos uh, which I was shooting like a week ago before I bought a 3D printer. By the way, if you're subscribed to my Instagram channel or you're watching YouTube stories, you saw a couple of uh, small pieces that I printed on my 3D printer. Finally, I've been able to uh, print something. These are parts of a puzzle that I'm gonna solve next Friday. And I hope I will be able to uh, remove all uh, parts that were printed just for support. Uh, send it and then I will have a chance to solve it. So stay tuned on Friday more 3D printing videos. And now I'm gonna show you my today's puzzle. It's gonna be a Bird 11 puzzle by Yu Asaka. This puzzle comes in a uh, white box. If you know, I have like all Yu Asaka puzzles right there on a the shelf. Uh, there is no uh, Oleo 10 puzzle there since I didn't buy it from uh, Yu Asaka's uh, website. I, I got it from Puzzle Master and they don't uh, sell them in this uh, white boxes. They sell them just in a regular plastic bags. So uh, let's move back to the Bird 11 puzzle. It is not a difficult puzzle. I tried to solve it on a picture which I saw in internet and I guess that I know how to solve this puzzle. So it's going to be probably five to ten minutes solution for me but who knows maybe it is more difficult than I expect but Aleo 10 was not difficult for me. It was uh, something similar that I saw from Yu Osaka, so I was not disappointed, but that was not enough for me. Unfortunately, I don't know even a single shop which sells Bird 11 puzzles, so no link for you today. But if I find it later, I will put a link in the video description. And now let's move to solving the puzzle. Okay, let's take a look at the puzzle first. There are 11 parts and the frame. And what interesting, Bird 11, I think that the name of this puzzle comes from the shape of these parts. Some of them, they might look like a small bird, but yeah, like this maybe. But what I see on the tray, that the shape on a tray looks like a tiny pig. So, for example, this one, this looks like a pig. This one, this one as well. This is a running peak. This is one more. Yeah, this is a peak with a small body. So maybe this puzzle has a different name. It's supposed to be like Peak 11 or Piggy Bird or something like that. Okay, let's try to solve it now. I'll start the stopwatch and let's take a closer look at the parts. Maybe there is something here that might help me. Yeah, there are a lot of parts, but not all of them can be fitted in all spots, I think. This one is quite tricky. So let's let's take a look at this one. It looks like the most difficult part because there are three parts, they're close to each other and there is no shape where I can fit it but I can probably use a shape like this where there is a big cutout to fit like two parts together. And now I have to find a place where there is shape like this and the small one next to it. Yeah, that's it. And I'm sure this part is gonna be only there since I don't see any other place I can fit it. Okay, so let's try to find some other parts and where to fit them. This one, yeah, this part definitely looks like a bird. And to put it, I have to find a place where I can fit 
something like this, big cutout and a small cutout on the other side. Oh, that's interesting. These parts, they have like, not the same, uh, the distance here between parts and here is not the same. So if it doesn't fit like this, I can flip it and it's gonna fit pretty well. Okay, this part, this part has equal distance between parts. So it's gonna be, that was not difficult. I think this is the only place where I can fit it. I don't think there are other places where I can put it. So I'll keep it there. This part is gonna be difficult to fit as well. Oh, that fits nice, okay. What else I have here? This part with three, probably. Yeah, it fits here. For now, maybe I have to change places of them, some of the parts later, but for now it looks uh, pretty good for me, so I'll keep it there. This piece, I don't think I can put it here. Definitely not here. Not here. It's not gonna fit here. Maybe I have to remove some of the parts. Yeah, that fits here. That means that this piece is not supposed to be there, but it's gonna be somewhere in, yeah, it might be here. Okay, let's see another one. Doesn't fit here. Nope. Oh, it fits here. That's good, I have only four parts left. That looks too easy. I thought it's gonna be much more difficult. But as I told you, uh, when I saw this puzzle on a picture, I had an idea how to solve it. So probably I will be able to solve it pretty quick. So this part, this part is tricky as well. Oh, it fits here, okay. This part, yeah, this might look like a fat bird. This is the belly of the bird. This is her beak and the tail and this is a fatty, okay, it doesn't fit here, it doesn't fit here, so probably somewhere in other place where some of other parts are, maybe here, okay, and this part, so where I can put it, not here, it's not gonna fit here, maybe, I have to remove remove some other parts. Yeah, it fits here, perfect. But what about this three-piece part? I don't know where to put it. It's not gonna fit here. Maybe, no, not here. Thought it's gonna fit right here, but it doesn't look like, oh, it fits, okay. Have only two parts left. And it's definitely not gonna be here, but it might fit right here. Almost. Okay, but what about this one? This fits here. So I have only one part left, which is quite tricky. Looks like I'm gonna be able to fit it here. Yeah, but this piece, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to put it there. But it fits here. Okay, and let's hope that this part is gonna fit in this cutout. Done! Okay, that was five minutes. As I told you, I didn't expect anything extremely difficult from this puzzle since I had an idea how to solve it. And the idea was that I have to use these uh, big cutouts uh, to fit some of the parts and that's it. So. Quite interesting puzzle, but it is not something that's gonna uh, melt your brain while solving, but I think it is worth to have in your collection. So that was the Bird 11. No link for you today, I'm sorry, but when it will be available in some of the stores, I'm gonna put a link below the video. And that's it. If you enjoyed watching my attempt to solve Bird 11 puzzle, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and push the bell button to be notified every time I upload new video. See you next time.